Hi everyone, I'm retired meteorologist Pat Prokop and today is August 1st, Thursday. And yesterday when I was recording the video for you that I posted on YouTube, right at the end of editing, we were hit by a massive thunderstorm. Look at the storm out there. Those winds were swaying back and forth. That rain was coming down in torrents and I ended up with 1.2 inches of rain and most of that fell in less than a half hour. And the winds were very strong across the region. Tree limbs were breaking and we had power outages in our area for over three hours. But things are much more quiet today. And as a matter of fact, it's hot out there at the afternoon. So let's take a look at the maps right now. And first of all, let's take a look at the uh, heat uh, index across the area. A lot of heat advisories across the eastern portion of the country this afternoon. Uh, and also into the uh, uh, mid-Mississippi River Valley, into the Ozarks, and into the uh, Central Plains. Also in the northwest portion of the country, a lot of heat going on across the nation today. But uh, here in our area, we're seeing uh, heat advisories in effect for uh, the remainder of the afternoon. We could see heat index values up to about 110, 112 degrees across our area. So Play it cool and stay cool if you can. Don't overdo yourself. Drink plenty of water when out in the heat. Let's take a look at the um, tropical weather conditions right now. And uh, there is an area of disturbed weather I'm keeping an eye on and everybody else is as well. That's over now in the um, uh, southern Bahamas into the uh, Hispaniola area of the Dominican Republic, Haiti. Uh, it's very unorganized at this time, but it's going to be moving toward the west-northwest, and as it does, it's going to be moving into an area that's fairly favorable for additional storm development, plus it's going to be moving over very warm waters in the eastern Gulf of Mexico, where those water temperatures are 85 to 89 degrees right now. So that's going to be a problem uh, if the storm should try to develop and should develop, it will be able to tap into that energy force of that very warm water in the uh, Gulf of Mexico. There's another storm out uh, developing in the Pacific Ocean, and then there's Carlotta over here in the Pacific Ocean, moving away into the open waters of the Pacific. Nothing to worry about with that whatsoever. But let's take a look at the um, uh, satellite imagery right now, and from my website, let's go into the satellite imagery, and I'm going to refresh this just to make sure that it's up to date. Not seeing much going on. Yesterday at this time, I saw thunderstorms developing. I'm not seeing too much. There's some way up there in the extreme northeastern portions of uh, Georgia, and there's another massive storm over there in southern uh, southeastern Illinois and southwestern Indiana to the uh, lower portion of western Kentucky River, uh, of the Ohio River in Kentucky. Uh, that's uh, booming out there. But around here, things are relatively quiet, hot and humid, though. Uh, the heat index right now is about 110 degrees uh, in some locations, 102 officially at Savannah uh, and Hunter Army Airfield. But over here, this is what we're looking at there. That's that area of disturbed weather uh, in the uh, uh, southern Bahamas now, Hispaniola area. It's not very well organized at this time, as you can see, but it's trying to get a little bit better organized. There's no circulation whatsoever going on at the moment, but as you can see right here, um, and it's going to be moving up in toward this area, uh, toward the uh, uh, peninsula of Florida, and it could eventually be affecting Georgia and South Carolina. So let's go to the models right now. And uh, the uh, global forecast system, the GFS, the U.S. model, has the system somewhat uh, developing. And then uh, by the weekend, here we are Tuesday or uh, 2 o'clock Saturday afternoon, and it's beginning to form somewhat of a low pressure area system there. Uh, just south of the Florida Keys and then goes up the uh, eastern Gulf of Mexico off the coast of Florida going across that very warm water now and then developing somewhat a little bit more and then continues to move where are we here Sunday um, uh, Sunday at sunset right here uh, seven o'clock eight o'clock at night and it's over north central Florida getting a little bit better organized according to this model and then it moves right up eastern Georgia, southern South Carolina, and it looks like it's going to be continuing to move. Now, yesterday we thought it was going to move in this area, then become stationary, but the models now are beginning to say, nah, it's going to be moving a little bit more. So we're going to keep an eye on that. But what about the uh, uh, precipitation associated with this? This is what I'm more concerned about because it will be a slow moving system. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that. Uh, and the uh, forecast model here uh, shows that the system will be producing quite a bit of rain. Here we are on uh, by um, sunrise Tuesday 
morning after the system passes uh, across our area. It's showing very heavy rains across the eastern portions of Georgia and uh, eastern South Carolina. Uh, this golden area here, that's 12 inches of rain, if you can believe that. Uh, and the uh, purple dark magenta color here, uh, that's anywhere between 5 and 8 inches of rain. So possibility some very heavy rains uh, could be associated with this system. Let's take a look at a couple of other models. The Canadian model has about basically the same thing, and the German model has about the same thing. A little bit heavier amounts in the Savannah Hilton Head area. Uh, to be associated with this by the uh, end of the day on Tuesday going into early Wednesday morning. So it looks like Sunday night, Monday, and Tuesday could be extremely wet, particularly across the eastern counties of Georgia and South Carolina. And uh, looking at the uh, forecast from my webpage, savannapat.com, you can get all your weather information, uh, local weather information here. Let's first off, let's want to take a look at the uh, current temperatures across our region. Scrolling down, we can get them right here. Current weather conditions report around Savannah. And the heat index value, oh, there it is, 105 now at the airport, 102 at Hunter Army Airfield. This is as of the uh, 3 o'clock report, 3 o'clock uh, Thursday afternoon. Uh, 107 degrees in Vidalia and uh, Claxton. So, yeah, it's very hot out there. Uh, St. Simon's was right there on the beach, uh, 111 degree uh, heat index there. All right, uh, well, what about Hilton Head? Buford, 115. Wow. And uh, Orangeburg, 114. What about Hilton Head Island? Uh, 103 there. So it's very humid on the islands and in the eastern counties and that with the com accommodation of the heat producing these very high heat index values and uh, the forecast is calling for just that uh, heat advisories in effect for today probably again for tomorrow and saturday uh, we're going to see the chances for rain uh, increase and right now they're only at 30 and 20 percent chance uh, but then by saturday that rain chance goes up to 50 percent 70 percent or better on sunday monday and tuesday as we're going to see the bulk of that rain from possibility of tropical system Debbie. Uh, if it's going to pick up a name, Debbie is next on the list. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Once again, I'd like to thank all my supporters who help uh, uh, keep this page up and running. And if you'd like to help support this page, feel free. I have links in the uh, comment section below is how you can help support the page. But again, thank you, thank you, thank you for those who've already have done that. And uh, again, you don't have to, you know, just, you know, if you want to, that's it, that's it. But right now it's uh, hot and humid out there. I'm inside. I'm not going out in the garden today and do any work out there to pull weeds. The weeds need to be pulled, but I ain't getting out there. It's too hot for me. So I'm going to wait for it, cool off, uh, for it to cool off just a little bit more. So with that being said, uh, stay cool if possible and get ready for some possible heavy rains moving in over the weekend into early next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.